Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we are going to be planning December. It is officially the end of 2021. We've almost made it, you guys. Um, this year was insane, and we'll talk about that more in another video that I have coming up for the end of the year. But today we are going to be planning December, planning the final month of the year, and yes, let's just get into it. So right now I am just Going back to November, checking off things I did or didn't do. November was a hectic, crazy month for me, and I feel like it was just kind of all over the place. I don't know if I say this every single month. Maybe it's just been this whole year for me. The theme is just chaos. This is my first full year running this business alongside my full-time job, so it's just been crazy. But definitely let me know how your month went in November. Are you guys feeling good going into the new year? Are you feeling stressed? What are we feeling? So going into planning December, my focus for this month is self-care. Going into the end of the year, you know, we've all been so busy and I think we're all probably feeling a little bit burnt out just from, you know, working the whole year and we're just kind of ready to wind down and kind of have a fresh start in the new year. And I really just want to prioritize self-care, like working out, doing my skincare, doing my laundry, cleaning my house, kind of just getting my life in order because I feel like it's kind of been just chaos over here. So moving into my goals, my work goal for the month of December is to have a successful 2022 launch. If you haven't seen yet um, in this video or on Instagram, I am launching the planners on Monday, December 6th, and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. We have a ton of new products coming to the shop and I've been kind of teasing them out on Instagram, so definitely go check that out, but really excited for you guys to see them and I hope you guys love them. My personal goal for this month is to stick to my morning and nighttime skincare routine. I have let my skincare just go away and my skin hates me right now and so I'm really just trying to stick to a new routine and I got some new products that I'm excited to use and we're going to we're going to test it out. My health goal for this month is to lift weights twice a week at the least. I have been trying to get back into weights recently just because they make me feel really good. I've talked about this before that weight training and getting stronger just makes me feel really good mentally. My financial goal for this month is just to review my finances from the year, kind of check in on some of the, you know, my Roth IRA or whatever, my investment accounts, things like that. This is kind of a boring topic. I don't think everybody really cares, but if you guys do care, maybe one day I'll make a video more about finances. But until then, yep, I'm just going to be checking in on everything, seeing where I'm at, and it's not fun, but we gotta do it. And my sustainable goal for this month is to use sustainable Christmas wrapping. So I do celebrate Christmas with my family and I'm trying to stick to sustainable Christmas wrapping, just said that twice, for the holiday. Just because it's a little thing that you can do to make a little bit of a difference and it just feels good and it's always nice to find reusable ways to wrap your gifts. So moving in to planning out the month of December, I planned some dates for Flourish Planner. Of course, the date of the launch, which I will just say one more time, December 6th, 2021. It is Monday and you guys should definitely check it out. I feel like weird talking like overselling things, but um, they've been a labor of love and I'm really excited about them. So definitely check them out if you are looking for a new digital planner for the new year. Mm -hmm. 
I personally love the new year and I know some people don't, you know, some people just think it's another day or whatever, which it is, but I love any excuse to just kind of start over mentally and feel like you have a fresh clean slate. So I definitely want to do some content surrounding that. Then of course I put in the holidays this month. Let me know below if you guys celebrate any holidays in December. And yeah, I just love this time of year and I'm really trying to get into the Christmas spirit this year because I absolutely love Christmas and just the whole vibe of the holiday. I just feel like it's such a heartwarming time. So really trying to channel in the Christmas energy this year. And of course, writing down 2022. Guys, I'm just so excited for the new year. I just really can't wait for this year to be over and just have a clean slate. Is anybody else with me on that front? This year was just really hard for some reason, but we made it. Sticking with my intention and my theme for the month of self-care, I went into Pinterest and I looked up some self-care ideas and I put one of these ideas for every Thursday of the month because I figured Thursday is a great day for a self-care night because it's like it's almost Friday it's almost the weekend so you're kind of winding down from the week and it's just it feels like a good day for me to have like a nice self-care moment so I picked things like find a guided meditation maybe on YouTube or maybe go to a guided meditation somewhere near you I know a lot of yoga studios do that I also put things like have a spa night in, you know, do a guided yoga practice, just things that I normally don't take time to do for myself um, that make me feel good. Then I just brain dumped my work and personal to-do list. My work list this month mostly revolves around just like promoting 2022 planners and just kind of New Year's content and kind of making sure we're all getting motivated for the new year and all of that kind of stuff. And then again, a lot of my personal things are just like self-care, making sure I'm taking care of myself, working out, I have a couple different appointments, and just making time for myself outside of work. Then in the notes section, I just put happy holidays and I copied and pasted it a couple times and changed the color just so that it had all of the colors that I used in this planner spread. Moving in to the December vision board. So for this month's vision board, I just went with a lot of winter themes, Christmas themes, baking, self-care, working out. Pretty much this month, I just like my whole vibe for this month is just getting up all of the 2022 content while also prioritizing like my workouts and self-care. That's kind of like the main thing. It's like just winding down for the year, taking good care of myself, promoting all of the planners, and and just kind of trying to have a more relaxed mindset throughout the month. So that's kind of the vibe for this vision board. And in the past few videos, you'll notice that I've been doing all of my vision boards in Canva. I just find it much easier to lay out the vision board exactly how I like it rather than in GoodNotes. And then I just export this as a PNG and upload it to my good notes. So I just like doing that personally and then I just find it easier to lay out everything and get everything exactly how I like it. So I just went ahead and I did all of that. 
And then over some of the images, I just put text that just kind of shows like my overall intentions slash vibe for the month, which is just, you know, move my body, self care, celebrate Christmas, prep for 2022, just kind of all of that vibe and aesthetic is what I'm feeling for this month. And this is how the vision board turned out. I seriously love this vision board so much. For some reason, I just love all the colors and just the overall vibe. It's really kind of what I want to bring into this month and then into the new year, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely stay tuned one more time. The new planners are launching on Monday, December 6th and on Etsy and on the Flourish Planner website. So definitely check that out and then also keep an eye out for all of the New Year's content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Christmas